Hi nerds, hi yogis, Carlene Rose here and welcome to a Nerdy Yogi YouTube channel and welcome to 2019. Hopefully this is going to be a very exciting year for you. We are going to do a flow into the new year sequence today. So to start, we're going to start in mountain pose, come to the edge of your mat. I'm going to start facing you so that you can see what we're doing, um, but you can go ahead and face this direction if you prefer. Uh, from here, just find a comfortable position for your feet. You don't need to worry about toes facing any specific direction. Just try and keep them in line with your knees. Find a comfortable standing position here. Get a slight bend in your knees and feel a wave all the way up through the crown of your head. Now we're standing tall. Uh, we're in a good alignment and it was pretty easy to get into this position. So you can start that again, finding that comfortable position, kind of walking back and forth on your feet, grounding into the earth, bending your knees, waving all the way up through your spine, out the crown of your head, and this time extend your fingertips towards the earth, really reaching down. You don't have to strain like crazy, just reach your fingertips long, feeling that rotation as your shoulders move towards the earth, and just start breathing here. As you inhale, I want you to think about your breath moving in a 360 direction all the way around your low belly. So you're gonna inhale, exhale, squeeze and lift everything in and out all the way up, exhaling through your nose. Inhale, exhale, squeezing it in and out. Really hear that exhale as you are exhaling through your nose. Very nice, now from here, I want you to take opposite fists into opposite elbow, bend your knees really deep and come to a forward fold. So we're gonna keep this really deep knee bend, wave your spine long and just fold over your legs. This fist in the elbows is gonna start triggering the big muscles in your low back to relax. And from here, we'll do some waves. So inhaling as you start to extend your legs a little bit straighter, Exhale as you come back to that forward fold. Inhaling, start to wave just a little bit straighter. We don't want to stretch too fast too soon. That's why we're coming back into the forward fold with really bent knees. Because we want healthy alignment for the spine. We want that wave long all the way out the crown of our head, even as we're doing this forward fold. Inhale one more time. Exhale. That movement's going to start opening up the backs of your legs, start getting that stretch going. From here, we're going to walk ourselves out into a plank pose. So start just making your way forward on your fingertips, really strong fingertips here, planting into the earth, strong palms, very little weight on the heel of your hands, just extending your crown of your head long. Again, we always want that wave of the spine. Come onto your knees here. We're going to lower through chaturanga, coming onto the earth. Inhale here. Exhale, rolling yourself in and up. And exhale, coming through, point of plank, back to your down dog. Very nice. And when you're down dog, you can take a moment to pedal out your feet or walk the dog if you prefer. Start opening up the backs of your legs a bit more. Very nice. Now from here, bend your knees and elbows so get Flow to the ground, lift your right leg to the sky. We're gonna exhale again, bending your knees and elbows. That's gonna give you good momentum and space to lift that knee into your chest. Inhale back up, exhale. One more time, inhale, exhale, really bending the knees and elbows, creating that space, lifting in and up and stepping your right foot towards your right thumb. Now from here, wave the spine long again. Bend your back knee, really grounding into the earth with your feet. Roll yourself in and up, coming to your high lunge. Inhale, your arms extend towards the sky. We're going to come through fist of fire and do a, a kind of a flying motion with our arms. So inhale here, exhale, fist come to low belly, your fist of fire. Exhale, lean forward and fly your arms back. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, those fists of fire. Fly your arms back, getting a nice stretch in your shoulders. Inhale up last time. Exhale. Very nice. This time, inhale. Exhale, making your way back towards the earth. 
strong fingertips again, stepping back into your plank, coming onto your knees, lowering through that chaturanga, inhale here, prepare, exhale, waving yourself in and up, and exhale back to your down dog. Very nice. We'll try that on the other side. So slight bend in the knees and elbows here gives you momentum to lift the left leg. Exhale, bringing your knee into your chest. Inhale up. Exhale for core plank two. Inhale last time. Exhale, really lifting in and up. Bring that knee up into your core and step it to meet your left thumb. Inhale here, prepare a long spine. Bending your back knee. Pulling yourself in and up back to that high lunge. Inhale here, exhale through fist of fire comes to your low belly and exhale, fly your arms back. Inhale up, exhale. Inhale up last time, exhale. Very nice, inhale, this time making your way back to the earth, stepping back into your plank, coming onto your knees, lowering through chaturanga. That gives us healthy shoulder alignment when we do that on our knees. And exhale back to down dog. Now this time I want you to bend your knees and start walking with your fingertips back to your feet. So we're coming back into that bent knee forward fold. So really bend your knees, get close to the earth. Inhale here, prepare. You're going to ground your feet into the earth and exhale. Start waving yourself up, rolling one vertebrae at a time all the way up to stand. Inhale, it reach and exhale. Hands come to heart center and namaste or Anjali Mudra. Just stay here for a couple of breaths, feeling all of that energy and power that you've cultivated just from doing that one short sequence. We're gonna do it again with a little bit different flow. So inhale, arms reach up, exhale, fists come to opposite elbows again, bending your knees, coming into that forward fold. And even if you're really flexible, I do want you to keep your knees bent here. We're trying not to stretch too fast too soon. So really when you want to extend your, your legs is when we do this inhale. So this inhale wave, you might notice that your legs are warm enough that you can stretch a little bit deeper and exhale back to that bent knee forward fold. Inhale, wave up. Long spine, exhale, feel the wave all the way back down. Inhale last time. Exhale. Very nice. Fingertips come to the earth, walking yourself back out to that plank. Strong fingertips, strong palms. Waving the spine long, always think about waving the spine long in all of your yoga poses. Come onto your knees, lowering through that chaturanga. Inhale, prepare, waving yourself in and up, and then coming through that pointed plank, back to your down dog. Again, you can pedal out your feet in down dog. Notice your heels might be getting a little bit closer to the floor now, now that we've started to warm up our legs a bit. Feeling all of that energy move through our body. Now inhale here, prepare. Right leg lifts. Exhale, knee comes to chest for core plank one. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, this time knee comes to outside of the upper right arm. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, this time it twists to the opposite elbow. Comes up and exhale through that core plank. Right foot steps forward to right thumb. Inhale here, prepare long spine. Exhale, bending your back knee, waving yourself in and up, coming into your high lunge. Now this time, I want you to inhale, extend both your legs, and exhale, just plant your foot naturally on the earth. Again, don't need to worry about a specific angle or anything. I just want nice, healthy alignment between your toes and your knees. From here, we're gonna come into a warrior one. So. Your forward knee will bend. Back foot is already in a comfortable position. Hips are actually going to be kind of diagonal towards your mat. You don't want to twist your, your hips forward in this pose. You'll actually twerk your knee really bad back here. 
If you need, you can walk your feet a little bit closer if that helps you get a better bend in your knee, if it's a little bit more comfortable for this back leg. But hips are going to be aligned to the side and you'll twist just your top body so obliques and higher to face forward. And from here, you're going to inhale. We'll come through those fists of fire again. We'll do kind of a cat cow spine with it. So inhale up, exhale, fists come to low belly and stretch out your upper back. Inhale up, exhale, inhale up, exhale. Very nice. From here, inhale, reach up, come off of that back toe or back heel onto your toes. Exhale, plant your hands forward, stepping back into your plank, coming onto your knees, lowering through that chaturanga. Inhale here, prepare, rolling in and up, and exhale back to your down dog. Awesome. We'll try again on the other side. So inhaling here, prepare. Left leg lifts this time. Exhale. Comes to chest for core plank one. Inhale up. This time it comes to the outside of your upper left arm, really lifting in and up. Back to down dog splits. This time twist to the other side. Inhale up and exhale. Inhale through that core plank, lifting in and up. Step left foot to left thumb. Inhale here, prepare long spine. Bend the back knee, waving in and up. Very nice. Now from here, inhale, stretch both legs. Exhale, that back foot grounds naturally on the floor. Left knee is bending, keeping knees and ankles in line. Hips are more of a diagonal here. And upper body twists. So upper body it's facing forward. We have a nice opening in our hips for our warrior one. Inhale here. Exhale. We'll do that fist of fire cat cow spine stretch. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale up. And exhale. Very nice. This time inhale. Come off of that back heel. Exhale. Strong fingertips, strong palms on the earth, stepping back into your plank. Come onto your knees, lower through chaturanga. Inhale here, prepare. Exhale, rolling in and up. And exhale back to down dog. Very nice. You can pedal out your feet again. Feels so good. From here, bending your knees. Fingertips walk you back to that forward fold. Again, really bent legs here. Inhale, wave the spine long. If you want, you can start to extend your legs just to that first edge of stretch. From here, we're going to take a really slow roll up again. So bending your knees really deep. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, start to roll up. Slowly, one vertebrae at a time. If you want, you can even pause. If you feel a good stretch somewhere in your spine, and take a big breath again. And exhale, continue to roll yourself in and up. Really using that breath like we did in the beginning of class. Inhale, arms reach all the way up. Exhale, hands come to heart center in your namaste or Anjali Mudra. Taking a moment to really ground into the earth with your feet, extending tall through the crown of your head. And all of that energy and power again. I'm going to take that into the new year with you. Last thing here I want you to do, so inhale, reach up. Exhale, this time bending your knees, coming back into that forward fold. This time you can straighten your legs just to that first edge of stretch again. We don't want to be feeling it in your knees. You want to be feeling it in, in the middle of your muscles, in the middle of your hamstrings. Wave your spine long, so still having that long spine. Now from here, plant your right hand under your right shoulder. Bend just your right knee really deep and keep that left leg a bit straighter at that first edge of stretch for you. And left arm is going to extend towards the ceiling. Getting a good stretch in the side of your leg. You can even, if you want, rotate the palm behind you and wrap your arm around your back somewhere, wherever it lands is a-okay. It's a great stretch for your shoulder while we're doing a great stretch for your legs and hips. And unfold that, coming back 
into the bent knee forward fold position. Again, you can straighten out a little bit as you wave your spine. And exhale, fold. Now from here, planting your left hand firmly on the ground, bending that left knee really deep. Right leg is staying at that edge of stretch. Right arm this time extends towards the sky, maintaining that wave, extending through the crown of your head. You want to try the extra half bind challenge. Rotate your palm behind you first, then wrap your arm. You'll have a lot more shoulder health and flexibility when you do that rotation to start. Feeling that good stretch on that side. Arm comes up. Exhale back to your bent knee forward fold. Inhale, wave the spine long. Exhale, come back to folding forward. Again, you can find that edge of stretch. Your legs are going to keep opening up, so you might notice that they're a lot more open now after we did all of that work. From here, we're going to do kind of a fun transition. So plant your fingertips out in front of you for balance. I want you to lift onto your toes and bend your knees. So from here, it's kind of just a, a feet stretch, but it's a fun way to make your way towards the earth. So stretching out your feet for just a moment. And then walk your fingertips back, coming to sit on the earth. You can reposition yourself on your mat so you're not you know, going to run into the wall like I was. And just walk yourself down. Take any yogi's choice stretches. If you want a windshield wiper your legs, do any twists, any more leg stretches, arm stretches, anything like that. We'll end today's flow in a butterfly or goddess shavasana. So feet together, knees open wide. Don't worry about pushing your legs down. Just let gravity do that work for you. And settle into this position. You can rest your hands on your low belly. Have one hand on your belly, one on your heart, arms out to the side, whatever is going to be most comfortable for you today. Be a good way to get into the inner thighs a little bit without having to, you know, do too much work or thinking about it. you enjoyed that flow into the new year take all of that energy power everything you just cultivated in that flow use that throughout the rest of your day um, make sure that you get on the league of nerdy yogis email list we've got exclusive content for you there also make sure that you are subscribed to the youtube channel i do have some exciting fun playlists that i'm going to be introducing over the next few weeks so i want to make sure that you get notifications when those videos and playlists go live Thank you so much for joining me on the mat today. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Namaste.